the Avengers release in 2012 is not going to ever happen again. We may get more superhero team-up movies or even a reboot down the line, but that specific moment with Black Widow, Hulk, Iron Man, and Captain America facing off against Loki, oh I'm sorry, and, and Hawkeye, we won't see that captured on screen ever again. And honestly, that's pretty sad, but also makes it special. Except in Endgame, but that doesn't count. You gotta realize that the Avengers was years of planning that boiled down to a total coin flip. If Iron Man failed, the whole interconnected thing was over, but it was successful and it totally paid off. The movie got box office records. Iron Man turned to gold over the weekend with a $100 million take. Uh, I couldn't be happier. The film had the 10th biggest opening of all time. Couldn't be more proud of And launched the MCU forward. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. We probably won't get another make or break super risky movie magic situation again though. It was back in Comic Con 2006, 6 years before the Avengers and 2 years before Iron Man 1 when they said the following. Listen to the characters that I named that we, that we work, are working on currently and you put them all together there's no coincidence that that may someday equal the Avengers. Now this is special. After all we have seen the comic showcase this connected universe for years. It was a patience game, but it also it was a game of building a universe, easter eggs that connected the story, Captain America, the Thor, Iron Man 2, so Captain America, and so on. As fans, we watched the movies, but we also were looking for easter eggs. Hey, look at Wakanda in Iron Man 2. The Avenger was once in a lifetime moment, and of course if you're a fan of the comics and superhero films. Marvel Studios completely changed the superhero movie game by kicking off an interlinked universe. Iron Man delivered a charismatic Tony Stark, backed by Robert Downey Jr. killer comeback performance, and Nick Fury cameo teased this was just the beginning of assembling the Earth Midas heroes. Let's do this right. To Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it. All these films are the road to the Avengers, then it was very important that they connect. The Incredible Hulk might not have smashed box office records, but it expanded the larger story. Tony Stark meeting Thunderbolt Ross set the stage for a gamma-powered threat awaiting the Avengers. Leave it to Chill to keep tabs on a savage Green Rage monster. We're putting a team together. Who's we? And newcomers like Black Widow only tease our advertise for more icons to suit up. Next up was the godly origins tale of Marvel's favorite Asgardian Avenger in Thor. Witnessing the Shakespearean family drama behind the hammer elevated above a mere setup for Loki big bad villainy. That little infinity gauntlet easter egg makes you wonder how far Marvel is connecting this cosmic madness. Those little moments that it was connecting everything together. But first it was time to meet the heart and conscious of the team in Captain America the first Avenger. Filled with war, bashing nostalgia, Cap's super soldier origin leaps right into Avengers initiative world building, seeing how we're Stark and the Tesseract, and what better glue to hold our heroes together than later Agent Coulson. His fanboy charm and underdog tenacity already sealed his fate as an audience guide. So, we found it. We felt the personal stakes rise exponentially thanks to Phil. Of course, Fury respond is welcome to level 7. This is a level 7. When Cap awakens for Avengers Assemble. Call it face gamble, Kevin Feige's vision surely silenced any skeptics by 2012. The movie has earned more than one billion dollars to date. The Avengers delivered the ultimate comic fan payoff by finally uniting all the heroes against Loki and his invading army. Seeing these functional temper flares before Coulson's sacrifice rallies the team, proves movie magic can perfectly capture comic chemistry, and Hulk smashing Loki into oblivion brought home how seamlessly Joss balanced the epic action spectacle with plenty of character moments to connect every emotional beat. Plus Shawarma and Thanos miles to set up the long game, Phase 1 sticks the Marvel Studios super team landed in unbelievable fashion. The Avengers assemble as a true high stakes Hollywood all in bed by Marvel Studios and delivered a crowd pleasing masterpiece that redefined pop culture. Lighting could not possibly strike the same way again with another Avengers mashup, right? Seeing six larger than life icons trading egos, smart jokes, and earth shattering blows made our inner comic collector kid squeal with glee. Having Cap rally the dysfunctional family before the hook smashing invading aliens proved Marvel perfected the delicate movie chemistry balancing act. Avengers crosses streams by blending action pack spectacle with genuine emotion and humor, and Kevin Feige always knew 
he had the winning hand. His singular vision quest realized against all odds and box office records. While heroes have come and gone, the initial Avengers movie stands as an absolute movie magic peak. But with the multiverse now unleashed, could Marvel possibly roll the dice again to bring their own masterpiece with other Avengers? Avengers show Kevin Feige grand vision in unprecedented fashion, patiently laying solo movie groundwork for heroes to unite, but now with Endgame and Farewells, two icons like Iron Man and Captain America brought perfectly poetic closure. Assessing Marvel's catalog and other crossover event with that shock and awe feels highly unlikely, so this is why this is not gonna happen again. Yet we endlessly speculate with the multiverse saga could restore variants of beloved characters, keeps hope alive for fresh dynamics, and the box office demands bigger stakes. Secret Wars adapt the ultimate comic clash, that's something new that we will have to wait and see. While Sam Wilson, New Captain America, She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, and Blade will surely assemble, Avengers nostalgia this is something that we want with Tony Stark friendly exchange, Captain America shield, and something that I wanted to discuss when I wanted to do this video was that nostalgia is something that holds everything together but that nostalgia for that movie for those events is something that we're not gonna ever see again which makes it sad. You know, Avengers set the gold standard as the ultimate comic book movie crossover. Trying to recapture that initial magic means navigating representation plus streaming series, story expansion, introducing heroes like Moon Knight with other protagonists like Miss Marvel and t hulk requires a balancing act. You know, obviously there's homage that define the Avengers but the multiverse landscape lends itself to smash up dimensions where variants of familiar faces emerge with freshly complex dynamics. Endless cameo possibilities, the Infinity Saga was closure. And reopening that again is like reopening Pandora's box. A lot of things are gonna come out that is not gonna be good. Look, nothing can fully recreate witnessing the big green guy. The genius snark machine Tony and the old school greatest soldier in history is standing side by side ready to throw down. That unbelievable year's culmination of patient solo movie build up exploded like a comic book come to life. But things change and that's why this moment, this film is not gonna come again ever again. There's not gonna be another Avengers movie like this one ever again. They can reboot but having those characters like Iron Man, Tony Stark, Hulk and Hawkeye all together like this is not gonna happen again. The movie is so special that even thinking about having another Avengers movie, like a reboot, where they can bring other characters, it's so, it's not gonna be that special. But with the multiple madness, Rips created possibilities wide open to stories that connect. Having Mark Ruffalo again, like Professor Hulk, or maybe seeing Ang Lee's Hulk as well, that would be so cool, but it's not gonna be that special. Even Deadpool 3 is gonna be special, but it's not that level of special like the Avengers was. Maybe Loki calls the shot now organizing a new Avengers team across the multiverse, maybe. But also, this is sad, because we're not gonna see the movie again in cinema, except those random screenings. But you see, I've been thinking a lot about 2024, especially the new Apple Vision Pro. And you will understand this in a moment. One of the new features of this entertainment system, this is a 100 widescreen IMAX screen at home. Now you're starting to see where I'm going with this. Having the opportunity to rewatch the Avengers is a dream. Having the opportunity to watch the Avengers in IMAX like this is an experience. The Avengers was a cinematic event that can now be fully recreated. Yet nostalgia already has us revisiting that 2012 team up whenever random theater screenings pop up. Soon enough, the emerging entertainment system like the Apple Vision Pro could let us be in this home on virtually life-size IMAX screen. Just picture having the Earth Midas Heroes wall-to-wall -wall across a 100 IMAX screen in your living room. That seeing Iron Man in that suit or having the Thanos at the end is just perfect. So yes, the movie is not ever happening again, but we can rewatch it over and over again which makes it special. You know, the Infinity Saga reached the natural conclusion for characters like Iron Man and Captain America. Obviously, the multiverse cracks open infinite possibilities, including nostalgia team-ups. But yeah, I can, ima I can understand that. That is a possibility. But having that a 2012 Avengers film is something that is not going to happen again ever. Yeah, we can, we're going to see Avengers films. There's no doubt. You know, Ken Dynasty and Secret Wars are going to be other Marvel movies, you know, but having those those core characters, having that event, something that was years in the planning, 
that was a flip coin is it's just so special and nothing's gonna top that it, obviously endgame matched that but but that avengers film yeah but hey my next video will be on why avengers endgame is not gonna happen again my name is christian from beyond premiere hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye one